up with the partridge. You're joining me, Alan Partridge, and Peter Baxendale, Thomas, of the Norfolk Farmers Union. Uh, now, yesterday, I uh, sort of trod in a rather large farmer's pat when I made some comments about um, intensive farming. Where did I go wrong? Well, I think your comments were ill-founded. They were deeply ignorant. They showed a complete lack of understanding of modern agricultural methods and simply served to highlight the sort of intense stupidity that farmers encounter from armchair pundits who forget to think before they open their mouth. But with a full and frank apology that you're about to give us this morning, I'm sure you can dig yourself out of this rather ugly hole. <laughs> yeah. Um... Sorry. Um, do you, have you got any, do you, any requests? Anyone you want to say hello to? Or? Look, I'm just trying to say that when you make ignorant comments like you did yeah. the other day, you serve simply to alarm the public and to inflame the farmers, which is exactly what you've done. Why don't you just apologise and make it nice? Mm -hmm. and... <laughs> thought that'd, uh, thought that'd fool you. Uh, you, you, could, uh, you could talk the hind legs off a donkey, um, but your donkeys are probably born without hind legs because of all, <laughs> all the chemicals you, you, you put in their uh, chips. Alan, I don't have donkeys, and even if I did, I wouldn't feed them chips. This is exactly the sort of rubbish you came up with the other day when you talked about putting a spine in a bap. I, I, I admit that, that, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have said bap. Well, good. Well, that's a start. Well, no, I, and I, I should have said baguette, because, <laughs> because a spinal column would fit listen, in a baguette. Listen, you've upset half the farmers in this community. You seem to alienate everybody you come across, including, I gather, your wife, which is why you end up living like some bloody tramp in a lay-by. It's a travel tavern. I don't care what you call your sordid little grief hole. It makes no difference to me. The fact is that an awful lot of my colleagues... They're yeah, farmyard animals. Yeah. You're talking about my friends. Yeah, I, 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 I've community. probably got more friends than you've got cows. How, how many, this how, is ridiculous. How many cows have you got? I've got a hundred cows. Yeah, I've got a hundred and four friends. <laughs> I don't see what this is going to gain you. Why don't you just issue a frank and full retraction of what you said and you get yourself out of yeah. a lot of silly bother? Yeah, you are a big posh sod with plums in your mouth. And, and, and I don't and, think it's got anything to do with And class, the plums have mutated and they've got beaks. Beaks? Yes, beaks. Have you got any more of this or do you want to stop at quacking plums? No, no. You, you, make, you make pigs smoke. I want to know where you think you earn the right to go swanning off swan, on these ludicrous... Ah, swans! Swans! Fight swans. You, you feed beef burgers to swans. Do I? Yes, you do. All right, well, perhaps you can tell me what's wrong with feeding beef burgers to swans. Oh, what? Well, if you fill a swan's stomach up with beef burgers, it's full of fat, it'll float better. That's why we do it. Really? No, you complete cretin. I'm just contributing to this total farce. What else are you going to accuse me of? I'll tell you what. what? You, you, you farmers, you, uh... Don't like outsiders, do you? Like to stick to your own. What do you mean by that? I've seen the big-eared boys on farms. Oh, for goodness sake, resort to... Something. If you see a lovely field with a family having a picnic and there's a nice pond in it, you fill in the pond with concrete, you plough the family into the field, you blow up the tree and use the leaves to make a dress for your wife, who's also your brother. <laughs> Look, have I got anything else to say here? Well, listen, I'll tell you what the point is. You have big sheds that nobody's allowed in, and inside these big sheds are 20-foot-high chickens <laughs> because of all the chemicals you've put in them. And these chickens are scared. They don't know why they're so big. They, they go, oh, why am I so massive? And they're looking down on all the other little chickens, and they think they're in an aeroplane because all the other chickens are so small. Do you deny that? No. Uh, his silence, I think, speaks volumes. And, and basically, do you agree that everything I've said thus far is completely correct? Yes. <laughs> yes. And you also run over badgers in your tractor for fun? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Peter Baxendale Thomas. This is Tapau. How did it go? Oh, you know, up and down. Oh, more bad news, I'm afraid. The actress playing your wife can't do the filming today. Oh, for good... Why not? Well, she's got a part in the bill. She's playing a shoplifter. Oh, oh quite good. Oh, we'll just, we'll just have to think of something.